An international team of astronomers using ESO's Very Large Telescope has measured the distance to the most remote galaxy so far. This is the first time that astronomers have been able to confirm that they're observing a galaxy as it was in the era of reionization, when the first generation of brilliant stars was making the young universe transparent and ending the cosmic dark ages. By using the VLT along with its powerful spectrograph, Symphony, the team has measured the distance to a galaxy spotted earlier using the NASA ESA Hubble Space Telescope. They have shown that the faint light left the galaxy when the universe was only about 600 million years old, less than 5% of its current age. Studying these first galaxies is extremely difficult. They are very faint and small, and by the time their dim light gets to Earth, it falls mostly in the infrared part of the spectrum, because it has been stretched by the expansion of the universe. To make matters worse, at this early time, less than a billion years after the Big Bang, the universe was not fully transparent, and much of it was still filled with a hydrogen fog that absorbed the fierce ultraviolet light from young galaxies. Although measuring the redshift of the most distant galaxy so far is a great trophy to hang on the wall, the astrophysical implications of this detection are even more important. This is the first time a galaxy has been observed spectroscopically from the era when the universe was still being reionized. In other words, while the hydrogen fog was still clearing. Despite the difficulties of finding these early galaxies, the new Wide Field Camera 3 on the NASA ESA Hubble Space Telescope discovered several very good candidate objects earlier in 2010. They were thought to be galaxies shining in the early universe at redshifts greater than 8, but confirming the distances to such faint and remote objects is an enormous challenge and can only reliably be done using spectroscopy from very large ground-based telescopes. The team was excited to find that the huge light collecting power of the VLT, when combined with the sensitivity of the infrared spectroscopic instrument Symphony and a very long exposure time, might just allow them to detect the very faint glow from one of these remote galaxies and then go on to measure its distance. A 16-hour exposure with the VLT and Symphony of the galaxy UDFY3813539 did indeed show the very faint glow from hydrogen at a redshift of 8.6, which means that the light left the galaxy when the universe was only about 600 million years old. This is the most distant galaxy ever reliably confirmed. One of the puzzling things about this discovery is that the glow from the galaxy seems not to be strong enough to clear out the opaque hydrogen fog on its own. There must be other galaxies, probably fainter and less massive neighbours, which help to ionise the surrounding region of space, making it transparent. Without this additional help, the brilliant light from the galaxy would have been absorbed by the surrounding fog and could not have made the 13 billion year journey to Earth. Studying the era of reionization and galaxy formation is pushing the capability of current telescopes and instruments to the limit. But this is just the type of science that will be routine when ESO's European Extremely Large Telescope, which will be the largest optical and near-infrared telescope in the world, becomes operational in the future. <laughs>